Work at a Pizza Place quite literally is one of the oldest games that exist on Roblox, with roots going back to 2007. In this video, we will delve into its 15 year history, tracing its evolution from its inception to the present day. Our journey begins in November 2007, when Michael Sly, famously known as Dude One, created a game called Work at the Krusty Krab, the predecessor of Work at a Pizza Place. Remarkably, he was just 15 years old at the time. The jobs in the game were fry cooks, bosses, dishwashers, and cashiers. However, in early 2008, Work at the Krusty Krab was shut down due to copyright reasons. You might assume Work at a Pizza Place was created on March 28, 2008, but that's not entirely accurate. In fact, the inception of Pizza Place can be traced back to November 3, 2007. However, it didn't start as Work at a Pizza Place. The game underwent several names, going from a script lab to an X-Gen playing game, and eventually rebranding as just LAB in late 2008. As December 2008 drew to a close, Dude One, the creator, started a significant project that would soon blow up on Roblox. Early January 2009 marked the public beta release of Work at a Pizza Place. It went straight to the front page, going up to 300 concurrent players, which is impressive for Roblox 2009 standards. The game's success encouraged Dude One to work on future updates, including the introduction of cars and furniture. However, when placing furniture, it was, uh... 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 Now here are the prices that nobody asked for. In mid to late 2009, work at a pizza place hit a significant milestone, surpassing 1 million visits. During this period, substantial changes were made, adding badges, restaurant renovations, map enhancements, and the introduction of the dump. The dump served as an item slash gear shop where players could spend their virtual money on gears and items. The year 2010 underwent further changes to work at a pizza place. Notable additions included new trucks, a tutorial wall, GUI changes, and circular pizzas. At last, I mean, I've been waiting for like two years for the little Minecraft pizzas to turn circular. As 2011 unfolded, updates for the game began to slow down, resulting in a decline in the player count. Minor changes to the map and texture modifications were the only notable additions during this time. The year 2012 remained devoid of updates. The game's description also became content deleted around this time, which is pretty odd. However, in late 2013, Dude1 decided to start updating again. In November 2013, Dude One began experimenting with Roblox's new texture update for Work at a Pizza Place, transforming the game from texture limited to texture rich. By February 2014, the game received its first major update in years. Houses became more customizable, allowing players to paint, upgrade, and decorate with up to 150 items using the new Pizza Place Shop UI. 
The dump also received a revamp, evolving into a brick building with an NPC you could talk to. You can now vote out the manager. Very nice. As 2014 progressed, Pizza Place is slowly starting to turn into the game we know today. It added background music, more furniture, new trucks, game passes, and the backyard house upgrade. Something else that's worth mentioning, there was a secret island around this time that was removed shortly after 2014. It had, uh, it had turtle. Yeah, other than that, it was just a stupid NPC. Cool Kid is a notorious Roblox exploiter that exploited in many Roblox games during the mid-2010s. Cool Kid joined Roblox in November 2013 and created a group called Team Cool Kid. He used a Cool Kid GUI tool, which would be able to change the skybox, music, and pretty much destroy games. On July 8th, 2014, he started destroying Pizza Play servers, making the game go into complete chaos for many months. The exploiting did eventually stop at an unknown date, but this event will forever be a part of Pizza Place. In December 2014, Roblox celebrated its 2014 holiday event, transforming the Pizza Place into winter mode. This update also introduced the iconic seasonal soundtrack that many people get nostalgic over. Take a listen. During this event, Pizza Place offered two exclusive accessories, the joyful bell helmet and the snowman's carrot nose. To secure the helmet, players had to complete all Pizza Place tests 10 times excluding the manager job. The carrot nose can be found at various set spawn points across the map. In January 2015, Do One introduced Party Island, a 50-player server on Roblox. Unlike the main map, these servers did not have the Pizza Place shop and was just 12 houses with one being used. This update also brought a house rating system and DJ sets making players be able to rate each other's houses on a scale of 1 to 10. Something else, the UI was changed, and now there are icons that are on the top of the screen, offering a cleaner visual experience. Garages were also introduced around the same time, where you have your own personal car that no 6-year-old bacon can steal. In June 2015, Roblox held its Teen Titans Go event and work at a pizza place. In this event, you will need to find Robin in random spots of the map. When you do eventually find him, you will win a Robin mask accessory. Oh, and this horrific gear that follows you around exists now. Nice. The Disney Infinity event was another event that Pizza Place was featured in. The objective in this event was to make box and deliver 30 pizzas in the current server you're in to earn the pizza place hat prize in august 2015 dude one brought two exciting islands to the game the first featured a homeless man that you could sell furniture to on the second island there was a treasure chest inside of a cave there were also new boats fitting up to 11 players and new water graphics make you able to swim in water now. Fun fact, there used to be a shark that would roam around in the water back in 2015. Another thing you probably don't know, there was a crusty crab in the water. To find it, you have to go to the dock, jump into the water on the right side of the dock, and swim. You should see it after a few seconds of swimming. When you touch it, you'll be teleported to a knockoff work at a pizza place called Work at a Burger Place, where you can make burgers. However, the game was never finished. 
One last fun fact. In November 2015, Duwa made a house concept, adding the basement and attic, predating the estate attic by four years. The Blocktober 2015 event was the last event Pizza Place was featured in for a few years. In this event, you had to collect a miniature Nerf zombie that appeared in certain areas of the map to get a Nerf bandana. A month later, in November 2015, Duron released his Thanksgiving update for Pizza Place, adding a new type of wall and Thanksgiving decorations. Shortly after this, Dude One released his Holiday 2015 update, where he added Zubers. Zubers are like pets. You can feed, pet, hold, stay, play, and make them sleep. You can also put accessories on them. And before you create the pet, you can choose what name, type, and color they are. In late January 2016, work at a pizza place hit 100 million visits, being the first game on Roblox to hit 100 million visits. Another thing that happened this month, Dude One won the third annual Bloxy Awards as the best team-based multiplayer game. In March of 2016, Dude One did a lot of touch-ups to work at a pizza place, changing the shop and adding drive throughs by August 2016, yet again, Pizza Place doubled its player count, hitting 200 million visits. In January 2017, Pizza Place once again revamped its entire UI, also adding a custom leaderboard and a custom chat. Building is a lot more easier now. And lastly, there were many more bug fixes. However, this update made the dump close for two years as undergoing renovations. Oh, and pixel art is added a month later. In March of 2017, Dude wanted to support his brother's new Steam game called Blink. So he created a small event where for one day, if you purchase Blink on Steam, you could win up to four unique items, such as a Scarf Kid, Blink Poster, Human Cannon, and a mystery item, being a Lantern. Dude One also added the Basement House upgrade. It costed 190 Robux to upgrade from the backyard to the basement. After this, in around May or June 2017, Dude One added Xbox One support to work at a pizza place, bringing many more people to the game. Later in June, Dude One decided to revamp the whole Party Island system, where now instead of having personal parties, you can go into a server with multiple party homes. There are also more emotes. TVs can be used now to create, store, and share videos. To make your own TV slideshow, you will need this Roblox plugin. In the fall 2017, Dude1 added an in-game catalog where you can make your own outfit in-game. VIP was also added, including many perks. The Winter Holiday Update in 2017 added a number of cool additions, such as new ovens and more, where you can now burn NPCs alive. You can now unload your trucks at the new supplier area in the pizza place, which is pretty cool. There is also new Christmas lights you could put on your house. One last thing, there is a new Easter egg behind the ovens that consists of a soda machine, chairs, and a sign.
February 2018 kicked off the new year with a promising start, as Dude One introduced like buttons and more furniture. The more people that like your home, the higher number of likes you have. Dude One celebrated a decade of Pizza Place with a grand anniversary event. Exclusive items, including a 10-year trophy and a limited edition cake, were made available for a single day. For the Easter update in 2018, Dude One added four unique Easter-themed furniture items. In May of 2018, work at a pizza place underwent a significant expansion with the introduction of a huge mansion, doubling the size of the existing three-story house. The new mansion became a well-known addition to the game. The summer of 2018 brought a game-changing update featuring a new and improved double-time mechanic. Every 30 minutes, all pizza values double with a value of 20 monies instead of the usual 10. Neon pizzas are also worth a staggering 100 monies. Later in the summer, presents started appearing in players' mailboxes periodically. September 2018 brought the addition of stickers. They're obtainable by delivering capsule pizzas. There are also 50 unique stickers you could get in place on any wall. On October 11, 2018, Work at a Pizza Place achieved a remarkable milestone, reaching 1 billion visits. In late October, a spooky Halloween update transformed the game's map from a pleasant fall setting to a dark map. This year was also the first year of the Maze of Terror. When you complete the Maze of Terror, you can earn the 2018 Halloween trophy. You can also trick or treat. When you get enough candy, you could purchase items in the Mulberry Tent. Around this time, Mountain Dew was replaced with Fizzly. People were not happy about this. December brought the introduction of the first ever Pizza Place Advent Calendar. Players were encouraged to log in daily to receive presents, leading to many items and a special Christmas trophy. At the end of January 2019, the dump finally returned. Yeah, I've been ripping my hair out waiting for that. In March 2019, Pizza Place was featured in the Roblox Pizza Party event. This event added a DJ set in the pizza shop. And if you touch a pizza shot from the community pizza launcher, you will win a boombox backpack. The other three prizes shown on screen, you will need to touch a pizza shot by either an admin, star creator, or developer. I have to say this right now, this is the most boring event ever. I literally ended up making an entire YouTube channel rather than going through 10,000 servers trying to find dude one to throw what was stupid pizza at me. In June 2019, dude one rolled out a monumental furniture update, introducing over 50 items. Locked furniture was also added, requiring players to use a dump to unlock furniture. Furniture categories are a thing now. There are five categories, normal, common, uncommon, rare, and legendary. Normal being the most common. In October 2019, Dude1 added a corn maze, where you can win a corn maze trophy. The Halloween update also returned with the usual items and the Maze of Terror. After that, Dude1 introduced a Thanksgiving event, challenging players to find six hidden turkeys around the map. Successful turkey hunters were rewarded with a special trophy. December 2019 brought back the advent calendar, featuring more items. During December, the most current house upgrade, the estate came out, with twice as more features than the mansion. A new addition, the North Pole event, tasked players with finding Santa's seven lost presents. 
earning them the Christmas trophy upon completion. In 2020, when everyone was in lockdown, updates began to slow down, as Dude One created a game called Survive the Killer. Anyways, because of lack of updates, rumors started that Dude One was dead. What I find even more insane was that he had to literally come out and say he wasn't dead. The only unique update in 2020 was the unfinished island update that was released in September 2020, adding new pirate items and of course a new island created by RBX Zack. After this, the Halloween update came out as usual, adding more items at the Mulberry Tent, another core maze, and the Maze of Terror, with new trophies. We don't talk about this event. After Halloween, Christmas events went on as usual. Twenty twenty one started off with a new type of present called the movie present. When opened, you will get movie themed items that you can't obtain anywhere else. The trip emote was also brought back, and now you can explode sodas in the oven. In September twenty twenty one, Dude One did the usual fall events as previous years, with new items and trophies. However, there was no maze of terror, which was pretty odd. November 2021, I'd say marks a new era for Pizza Place, starting with a huge UI update with new display furniture pieces and more wallpaper. December brought back the North Pole event, and there are more advent calendar items, and completely new Christmas presents with even more items you can obtain. Twenty twenty two brought the second house slot called the Modern House. Currently, there are three upgrades at the moment. In June twenty twenty two, Dude One added even more weird updates, adding a pet morph system. Currently, there are two pets you can morph into. And if you go into the rat hole located in the Pizza Place box room, you can do a cool challenge. When completed, you can earn a rat trophy. July 2022 brought Neon Time, which occurs every 1 and 12 double times. Neon Time changes the map to this weird synthwave galaxy look. Anyways, like Double Time, Neon Time, all pizzas turn neon. There are also job ratings. Late 2022 brought a weather cycle to Pizza Place, revamping the weather system. Well, here we are in modern day Pizza Place. 2023 added a variety of cool additions this year starting with the furniture update. And fall events went on as usual. The last huge update that was added recently was in October, where pets were revamped, adding a whole new pet leveling system and a completely new pet shop with many cool perks. If you want to see me go into full death on this update, make sure to watch this video. Anyways, at the moment of making this video, there are 20 unique trophies, 7 unique presents, and 14 game passes you can purchase. There is also a official Discord server for this game, called the Pizza Place Community. As we say goodbye to 2023, anticipation for the upcoming year 2024 is running high. 
In recent months, a notable surge in activity has been noted. Let's hope for 2024 to be a good year for Pizza Place. And before I go, thank you guys so much for your patience. This video has quite literally been the hardest video I've ever made. I attempted this video three times, the first being in 2021. And I am glad to finish it in time for the new year. If you guys are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe. And check out my other Pizza Place videos. I post videos and stream live every so often. And that, my friends, is a Pizza Place evolution.